Welcome back to buy or die. We make money on perspective stocks and I have no idea why you're still not with us. Subscribe, hit the like button and let's go. If you look at my channel, you can notice that I'm a huge Virgin Galactic fan. Almost all my videos are about its SPC stock and it's personal for me, you know. I admire Richard Branson, I like his mission and I find future Virgin Galactic perspectives quite breathtaking. But probably some people want to get stock analysis without expressions like oh my god, it's the best stock on the stock market, look at its potential and so on. So this time I'll try to make it as unbiased as possible. I'm recording this video during pre-market and SPC price doesn't differ from yesterday. It's about $30.5 and if new people who are looking for stocks to invest in look at SPC chart, they can notice that this month was tough for Virgin Galactic. Why do we have this situation? Let's find out. But first, what do we know about SPC? It's all about the space industry, high potential, high risk investment opportunity for investors willing to take the leap into some volatility. The bullish case for Virgin Galactic is that it will redefine how we think about space. For as little as $250,000, anyone can travel into space once commercial flights begin. That sounds like a lot of money, but think about how unattainable space seemed only a decade or two ago. Now it just takes a big checkbook to get there. The flight is only a few minutes long, but it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience that it has already attracted over 600 reservations. It's important to point out that this is a pre-revenue company and it's the biggest problem right now. Virgin Galactic is burning cash in anticipation of generating revenue from research and from customer tickets for a quick trip into space, but it hasn't launched commercially yet. Management thinks that when operations are fully ramped up, a spaceport like the company has built in New Mexico will be able to generate $1 billion per year in revenue. Build a few spaceports around the world and suddenly valuing the company at $8.7 billion doesn't seem so crazy. $8.7 billion its market capitalization today. Also in development is a Mark III aircraft that could take high-speed travel to a new level. While the current spacecraft being tested is meant for tourism, a Mark III aircraft could make global travel more efficient, reducing the flight from, let's say, Los Angeles to Tokyo from 12 hours to 3 or 4 hours. We don't know for sure if space tourism or max speed travel will succeed, but imagine if they do. All our test flights were successful, I mean the last two of them. If thousands of people fly into space each year and it's commonplace to see, well, videos of celebrities or wealthy people in a weightless atmosphere like we saw during Branson's flight. It has the potential to shape how we view space tourism. At the same time, Virgin Galactic's design of reusable rockets could allow it to reduce costs to make space tourism possible to those willing to spend around $100,000 on a ticket. And that could truly change how we view space. That's the kind of disruption that would drive big gains for investors. So what conclusion do we have in general? I mean about uh, Virgin Galactic. The company would complete 400 space flights per year, generating $1 billion in revenue per spaceport, with potential to build dozens of spaceports around the world. Long term, the spaceports could also house max speed aircraft. If Virgin Galactic succeeds, the company could open up multi-billion dollar markets that don't exist today. Since May SPC stock had been growing on expectations of test flight, then FAA approval to send people to space, ransom participation was announced and we were able to touch the peak of February. But after the last test flight that was a huge success, SPC stock crashed.
that was caused by various reasons and some of them don't derive from Virgin Galactic. Inflation has been picking up in a big way and could tighten consumer wallets. There is also a growing likelihood that the Federal Reserve could take its foot off the proverbial gas pedal with regard to monetary policy and quantitative easing. And don't forget about the coronavirus Delta variant, which threatens to slow down reopening efforts in various parts of the US and around the world. Talking about SPC in particular, I can say that companies' actions after test flight weren't wise enough because they announced capital raising right after successful event. They didn't say anything certain about enhancing their operations. You know, it's not enough to say we will build more jets and have more flights. Investors need dates, deadlines, expenses. We need more numbers that we're probably going to see on the 5th of August during earnings report, but still, still a lot of uncertainty. And also that secret announcement of Branson uh, that was declared before ended up to be some kind of lottery to win tickets to space. Well, it's curious, but at the same time it's boring. It's boring for us as investors. That's why we saw such a dramatic decline of SPC stock. Market is crashing in general and investors don't like this uncertainty around Virgin Galactic, which is of course temporary. Luckily, Blue Origin flight had no significant negative impact on Richard Branson's company. Many people say it like, oh, Blue Origin will be the leader, their test flight will be more efficient, more advanced, but it wasn't impressive. It wasn't impressive. Uh, Blue Origins flight had no significant negative impact, as I said before, and actually probably quite the opposite, because that flight reminded investors one more time that new era of space tourism is approaching, and SPC stock is the only stock in the stock market that gives us the opportunity to invest in space right because blue origin is private spacex uh, uh, isn't uh, on uh, stock market yet so we have only spc stock so what can i say if you believe in the potential of space tourism if you're ready to wait for a long time well at least one year welcome to spc army 2022 is going to be commercial year of Virgin Galactic. The beginning of commercial activity will give us investors a lot of reasons to gain our profit. So I'm waiting for your SPC stock predictions in the comments. I'm waiting for your subscriptions because it's much better to make money together. And see you guys tomorrow in my next video. Bye.